Guys, it's Matt and Vinny bringing you episode 7 of Clash of Clans series. The reason there has been a video forever is because I was in New York. I actually hoped to make some videos there, but I didn't really have much time, nor did I have the environment to make it. So, uh, these are some recordings from two weeks ago. We're just going to voice over them. Using the giant healer strategy where you deploy a bunch of giants or just some giants and then drop down a healer once the air defenses are gone, just like I did right there. Uh, this layout right here is... I'm not sure what to even call it, I don't know. They're kind of protecting their resources, but at the same time, they're just leaving things out way too far away. Guys, don't ever do that because uh, many of you probably think that uh, enemies won't see them. Oh, they will see them. They'll zoom out and they will see everything. Uh, the corners thing only works uh, if, you know, people are too lazy to zoom out, but if you are putting things far away from your uh, actual walls, the most likelihood of them actually not being seen is very slim. So uh, what do I mean by that? Well, put your buildings really close to the walls. That way that your defenses can reach them. So go ahead and tap your cannon and see if that circle covers all of the area where your buildings are. And it's not necessary to have all of them in, but more than 50% for sure. Because that is how the Barbarian Archer attack strategy easily works. You just spread them out and get 50% and... Uh, let's see, how are we doing? Uh, we pretty much stole all the gold, which was, I believe, was like 79,000. Uh, we're going inside their base. Let's see, they got only one mortar left, a uh, wizard tower, a cannon, and an archer tower, so one of each defense. Our giants are still alive, due to our healer doing a very, very good job. They're breaking through the wall, they're probably going to get the mortar. Uh, we have that lone barbarian over there and we also have the archer working on the town hall uh, not being able to be covered by that cannon over in the far left corner because it doesn't reach that far uh, I'm not sure what the giants are doing right now uh, no they're going over there okay well that's pretty much it for this attack I mean uh, we didn't get any elixir but that's okay because I'm more of a gold person uh, you know, it's easy to spend gold on defenses and stuff, and for Elixir, it's only for upgrading your gold storages and your army camps and the troops, which is, by the way, Elixir is really easy to get, so uh, don't get too focused on Elixir. Alright, so here's the summary of the battle. Uh, 49,000 gold, 12,000 Elixir, and nice 20 trophies. Alright, I'll be back with more attacks. Alright, so here we are with the second battle. Uh, 40,000 gold. I'm not sure why I'm going for all these low levels. I don't remember why I was doing this, but... Uh, anyways, apparently there's this air defense right there next to the clan castle, but I did not notice it, and I started deploying my giants over right there next to the archer. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure what the outcome is, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be interesting. So I don't have any wall breakers because I forgot to train them. And luckily, I actually have level 3 giants that uh, broke through the wall. And since I don't know there's an air defense, I was like, okay, let's just start spreading all these archers around the, you know, base. And as I probably zoom in, I will notice the, uh, the air defense. And I still don't notice it. Let's see when I notice it. Oh, and there it is. I just saw the air defense. I'm like, oh crap. But luckily, we're actually doing very well. Uh, looks like the clan castle guys are gone. The mortar only, or <laughs> the mortar. Uh, the air defense only got one hit on our uh, healer, which is no big deal, absolutely. Uh, we have tons, and we have like overpowered giants attacking this base, which we I don't think we needed to deploy this much, but you never know. Uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. Now uh, we're getting their town hall. We got 90%. That means once the town hall is gone and uh, the elixir and gold are gone, we are done. Oh yeah, and the mortar. But that should be a piece of cake, as we have a tons of archers. And there's the final piece. Okay, three starred this, even though I did not notice the air defense. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, make sure you drop a like right now, and I'm going to show you one more attack. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, this time we got our full army, including the wall breakers. This is our third and final attack for this video. Uh, this base isn't uh, too upgraded, but, you know, due to its town hall, they can't really upgrade 
for too much. These walls are very easy to break about, just two wall breakers will do. Uh, their air defense is right over there and it's under construction so we absolutely don't need to worry about that. That is their only air defense, so this could be a three star. Uh, their mines are very easily exposed. They do not possess more gold than the collectors, so we will have to get to the collectors, but that should be a piece of cake. I want you to pay attention. Do you see how that uh, middle area is completely exposed once you break two walls? There's like the town hall, the two mortars, and uh, everything else is like double walled. Uh, if you look in the center, there's like a double wall closer to us, and then there, down where the town hall is, there's none. That is completely pointless. If you guys are going to do a double wall, you have to do it all around. Because even even barbarians are gonna go for the single wall, and barbarians are the stupidest uh, you know characters in this game. They go for everything in their way. But even though uh, they will still be smart enough to figure out that one wall is better than a double wall. Anyways, uh, extremely easy attack because of uh, poor sectioning, and sectioning is where you um, go up to max of like five buildings per section. Now. Since this is a low level, you don't use uh, a section of five buildings. You use a section for at least two or three buildings. Instead, he's using four and five. You never want to have a town hall with all the rest of the buildings right around it and then a giant wall surrounding it. That is just extremely easy. You just break through one wall, one or two walls, and then all the buildings are right in front of your face. So we are going to get this one here, and that is it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. If you haven't dropped a like yet, please do so, because that helps. And uh, make sure you subscribe, and I'm out.